Welcome to What the Spirit? An ongoing series in which we uncover the origin of each and every spirit and spirit battle in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Spirits are based on characters and items from either the history of Nintendo or video games in general, and each battle against them is specially tailored to reflect that spirit and its origin, whether through the character it possesses, the stage, music selection, or even the items. They all serve as clues and connections to the spirit's origin, sometimes in surprising ways. It's all incredibly clever and often even more obtuse. So in Volume 1, we'll be breaking down 10 of the characters we've encountered in these spirit battles to uncover exactly what the spirit is going on with them. Ryan from Xenoblade Chronicles is Shulk's best friend and the tank of the party. So naturally, he possesses Ryu, who best matches his bulky, up-close fighting style. Going one step further, Ryu is dressed in his orange outfit, which matches the color scheme of Ryan's default clothes. In addition, the spirit begins the battle with a beam sword, which is a reference to Ryan's weapon, the Gun Lance. Although we can't help but think the back shield would have helped emphasize his weapon even more in terms of his tank role. The fight takes place on Gower Plain, and the music is Time to Fight, both of which make sense for Ryan as they're from his game. Time to Fight in particular was the battle theme for many of the areas in the first half of Xenoblade Chronicles, but all the conditions surrounding the Ryan spirit battle match his character and role as well. The spirit has super armor but moves slower, again referencing the tank nature of Rhyme. It's also a timed stamina battle which is perhaps aimed at fitting the RPG aesthetic with how you must drop an opponent's HP to zero. Finally, the spirit loves to taunt and anyone who has played Xenoblade Chronicles knows how often it's Rhyme time. And if you don't, Ryan will tell you again and again. Now it's Ryan time! Once the spirit battle is won, the actual Ryan spirit is a primary and lacks any special abilities. Chespin from Pokemon is the grass starter for the sixth generation, X and Y. For its spirit battle, it possesses the only grass Pokemon in Smash Ultimate, Ivysaur. The battle takes place in Congo Jungle, which is likely meant to represent a wild battle against the Pokemon. This is further emphasized by the choice of music, Battle Wild Pokemon from Pokemon X and Y. But the conditions of the fight show more of Chespin itself. Pokeballs are the only items that spawn and they all contain Chespin, which, yeah, that makes sense. No better way to get him in there after all. But the spirit also favors neutral specials, which is the Bullet Seed attack, a move that Chespin cannot learn. However, this could be a close approximation of his Seed Bomb move, which the Chespin from the Pokeball uses, or the bulletproof ability that Chespin can have in the Pokemon games, protecting it from Ball and Bomb moves. Another mystery, though, is why there are three Ivysaur to fight. Is it a reference to Horde battles in X and Y where five Pokemon attack at once? Well, there's only three here, but World of Light does cap out at four enemy characters, so having five is simply impossible. Maybe the other two are there to represent Chespin's evolutions, Quilladin and Chestnut? At any rate, the Chespin spirit that is earned is a primary with the ability Fire Weakness, which Chespin is also weak to in the Pokemon games. The bonus fruit from Pac-Man is also a spirit and a unique one at that. It possesses the body of Pac-Man and takes place on the Omega version of Pac-Land. This is key because the battle itself is only 20 seconds long and there are two spirits to defeat. If the player doesn't, they'll have to try again. But this itself is a reference to the bonus fruit as they only stayed on screen for between 9 and 10 seconds as it was variable in the original arcade release. So the player only has 20 seconds to metaphorically get both fruit. Of course, the other condition of the battle is that spirits favor neutral specials which literally tosses the bonus fruit. And fittingly enough, the music is Pac-Man, which is a remix of the original arcade song. The bonus fruit spirit that is obtained for winning is a support that allows players to start battles with extra stamina when in stamina battles. I mean, they are bonuses after all. Blaze the Cat from the Sonic series is a princess from another dimension with the ability to channel fire. So of course her spirit battle is filled with the stuff. She possesses the body of the pink female Robin, which is the closest to Blaze's color scheme, and Robin makes extensive use of her Arcfire special. The fight itself takes place on the Battlefield version of Green Hill Zone, where the base floor is filled with lava, while her own explosion and fire attacks have increased power. And in fact, she even begins with a fire flower. 
Yeah, it's not too hard to get Blaze's theme in here, but the choice of Reach for the Stars is rather interesting. Not many of the Sonic songs in Smash Ultimate are from games where Blaze appeared. The only three are His World from Sonic 2006, Night of the Wind from Sonic and the Black Knight, and Reach for the Stars, which was also featured in the DS version of Sonic Colors. For my money, His World has the closest connection to Blaze, but Sonic 2006 did retcon Blaze's origin, so maybe this stays away from that mess. Finally, the Blaze Spirit that you can equip is a support that allows the player to start with the super spicy curry breath and continuously spit out fire. Again, the connections to Blaze and her fire powers are pretty obvious. Another unique spirit is the Gravity Suit from the Metroid series. This armor upgrade for Samus increases her defense while allowing her to move freely in water and survive intensely hot rooms. The spirit naturally possesses Samus in her Gravity Suit outfit. The stage is the underground cavern portion of Castle Siege, and its lava-filled background is meant to invoke the lava areas of the Metroid games, which necessitate the Gravity Suit in the first place. Likewise, the music is Sector 1 from Metroid Fusion, which also required the Gravity Suit to fully explore its fiery depths. The conditions of the fight also highlight the Gravity Suit's advantages as the player's jumping power has been decreased, which effectively emulates Samus's poor jumping ability in water prior to obtaining the Gravity Suit, while the spirit itself is unaffected by the condition. When the Gravity Suit spirit is earned, it is a support that reduces the damage players take from lava floors. Again, this suit is all about protecting you from fire. Charlie is one of the three main characters in Pikmin 3, and his spirit possesses Alf, one of the other characters from that game. Alf is in his green outfit matching the green suit Charlie wears in the game. The fight takes place on the Battlefield version of Garden of Hope, which is an area featured in Pikmin 3, while the music is mission mode from that game as well. This might be an indication that this is considered an extra mission for the Charlie spirit, rather than referencing a specific section of the game. This might also be the reason Charlie wields a drill as some treasures have to be dug up. However, the slippery floor condition is likely a reference to the cold location that you find him in the game, Distant Tundra, and how it was filled with snow and ice. Charlie's reinforcements come in the form of two other ALF fighters, one with the default color indicating ALF himself, and one with a pink suit referencing Brittany. So the entire trio from Pikmin 3 is here in this spirit battle but the Charlie spirit that you earn is a master spirit with no special abilities. Master Belch is a boss from Earthbound that's supposed to be simply gross, so it's rather fitting that he possesses Wario for the spirit battle, especially since both battle using gas, just a slightly different kind. Wario is even wearing his green outfit to match Master Belch's coloring. The fight takes place in the Battlefield version of the Mario Brothers stage, which resembles a sewer and perhaps even Belch's factory from Earthbound. The song is the mashup of Unfounded Revenge and the Smashing Song of Praise, which is the only boss theme from the Earthbound series to make it into Smash Ultimate, which seems appropriate enough given Master Belch is a boss. The conditions for the battle seem to refer to the fight against Master Belch. The floor is sticky, making it difficult to move around. This might be a reference to the fly honey that's used to distract him, as it would be quite sticky. Or it could be related to the sticky zombie paper that you needed to use on zombies in order to get that honey. It could even relate to the fact that he's just an animated pile of vomit and would naturally slow everything down. Look, a lot of things are sticky around Master Belch. But the other condition is that the player has reduced defense after a while, which is likely a reference to Master Belch's burp attack that causes nausea, resulting in taking damage every turn. The Master Belch spirit that is earned is a primary and lowers the player's speed, likely referring to Belch being a blob that doesn't move that fast. Grill is the final boss of Kirby's Superstar Stacker, a Super Nintendo puzzle game that was never released to the West due to the arrival of the Nintendo 64. As Grill comes from a puzzle game, the fight takes place on the Battlefield version of Green Greens, which is a little odd as that doesn't have the falling blocks that the normal Green Greens does, which would be a perfect fit for a puzzle game based around falling blocks. Music-wise, Green Greens from Smash Bros. Melee plays, which fits the stage more than any kind of theming with Grill. But the spirit does possess Jigglypuff with her green hat. This matches Grill pretty well as they're both pretty much a head with arms and legs, while the green hat fits with Grill's green tuft of hair. The conditions of the battle have warp stars appear frequently with the spirit constantly trying to grab them. 
This is a reference to the story of Kirby Superstar Stackers, which has Kirby challenging other characters to puzzle battles in order to gather the scattered pieces of Mr. Star. Grill only appears if this is done without using a continue, so gathering stars is kind of the point of the whole game. The equipable Grill Spirit is a primary, although it doesn't have any special abilities. Don Bongo is a boss in Yoshi's story and a rather tough spirit to fight. He possesses the body of King Dedede in his green costume, better matching Don Bongo's own large size and green appearance. Fittingly, the fight takes place on the Yoshi Story stage with the Yoshi Story song from Smash Bros. Melee. There are three songs from Yoshi Story in Smash Ultimate, but this one best fits Don Bongo as one is the credits theme, Yoshi's Tale, while the other is Yoshi's Story from Smash Bros. 64, which is based on the title screen and first level. The Melee version fits the motif of Yoshi Story as a whole, so it's likely that's the reason it was chosen. The conditions seem a little paradoxical at first, with the enemy having reduced movement speed, but also getting increased movement speed after a little while. This is a reference to how Don Bongo's movements are slow at first, but then pick up speed after getting hit twice. And since he's so big, it makes sense that the spirit would be giant sized as well. The Don Bongo spirit that is obtained is a primary and grants a boost to the player's fire attacks. But we're not sure why that is as Don Bongo doesn't fight with fire attacks at all and his level isn't based on fire either. Perhaps it's related to how his lips swell when hit with Yoshi's eggs? That swelling would be pretty hot to the touch. Roll Casket is a mechanic and Mega Man's friend in the Mega Man Legends games. She possesses the body of Isabelle in her red outfit, better matching Roll's own clothes. Isabelle was likely chosen because she has a plethora of different items to use, much like Roll's gadgets and mechanics. The battle takes place on the pilot wing stage, which is meant to match the flying airships common to the Legends games and Roll's own flutter. The music is the Light Plane Pilot Wings remix from Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS and is used to match the feeling of the Pilot Wing stage since there's no Mega Man Legends music in Smash Ultimate. The conditions are kept simple as the game simply advises to take your strongest team into a no frills battle. That said, there are a few elements here to spice things up. For one, Hokutate bombs will appear frequently, which are likely cheeky callbacks to the end of Mega Man Legends 2 where Mega Man finds himself stranded on the moon so the Hokotate bombs are kind of like Roll's efforts to build a spaceship to go rescue him. She's also joined by a small Diddy Kong who's supposed to represent the little monkey, Data, which allows Mega Man to save his game. Equipping Roll Casket's spirit slightly increases the power of projectile weapons like bows or guns, another nod to her mechanical knowledge and how she powered up Mega Man's Mega Buster. There's an incredible attention to detail here that might not be appreciated at first glance, with an impressive amount of thought and research put into each and every spirit battle. And we've only covered 10 so far, with hundreds and hundreds more to go. Yeah, we're gonna be here for a while. Which one is your favorite so far though? And which spirit origins have you asking, what the spirit? Let us know what spirits you'd like us to cover in the next episode by posting in the comments below. And of course, be sure to subscribe to Game Explained for more Orange Smash Ultimate and other things gaming.